so hello everyone to this guide and in this guide i'm basically going to tell you how to go from stock realme ui to custom roms in your realme uh, realme 8i or narzo 54g so this guide is going to be easy if you just follow the tutorials and uh, use your brain and just don't mindlessly follow everything i do i will try to explain everything that i do in this video so if you're here just uh, check this pre uh, prerequisites so just read this one once. Uh, for for one, you need to have your phone updated to the latest version of Realme UI 4. So if your phone is on Realme UI 2.0 or 3.0, this just won't work, and you will have to update your phone to Realme UI 4.0. And then you need a good internet with unlimited data because you have to download some big files in here. If you don't, ha if you have like 1.5 GB of data on your phone, then just manage some more data. Okay, brain. Uh, what I mean by this is just you know you gotta be some you gotta have somewhat of a brain capacity to understand what I'm saying I don't mean that like I don't mean to offend but I'm just saying and then you need patience because you will run into some errors if you're new obviously and then of course realme at 4g or realme Narzo 54g and I'm mentioning these phones because this guide is only made for these phones and I'm gonna and if you talk about other phones I'm just not gonna listen to you because obviously I've told you this these phones okay so if you if you have any other phone yeah just don't follow this guide okay so first of all I'll give all of these uh, links in the description so basically just download all of these first is the MDK client which we will be using to unlock the bootloader second is this tool which you will need for the future use but I mean it's optional but you can install it third this and then fourth this and fifth this telegram group in which you will see all the uh, ROMs and recoveries whatever so you'll need telegram for I mean I recommend you but uh, whatever it's a choice look at all of these ROMs are here so let's start with it so first go to this website I'll link everything in the description okay so go to this website, click this, uh, click this, click download zip, and once you've done that, uh, extract this. You'll have this folder called MTK client main. So once you're done with this, uh, download lib uh, lib uh, libusbdk, download this setup, then download this. Uh, y if you have a 32-bit PC, download the x86 one, and if you have a 64-bit uh, PC, then you have to download the x64 one. So just store them in the folder like this. And now what you need to also you also need like uh, if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8 I mean uh, you can download Python with some workarounds but I recommend you to have a Windows 10 or 11 so let's go to the Microsoft store down uh, search for Python here and download this okay once you have done with this I've already installed so I won't do it again so once you've done with this uh, Double click on the libusbdk setup. Click next, click next. Uh, you don't need to, but well, yeah. You have to download these drivers. Click next, install, then finish. Okay, once you're done with that, you're done. So the second one is lib, uh, usbdk. Just install that as well. So for now, it's not coming up for me, but uh, I think that's because I already installed it. So for you, I think it'll come up with some options. So just go to the repository and install it, okay? And once you're done with that, okay, just go to the MT client main port. So let me tell you what this does essentially. So MT client is basically a tool for mediated devices, mostly Helio G devices won't really work on Diamond Cities. So our, our phone has a G96. So uh, this just allows you to do a lot of exploits on your phone. Our phone doesn't have a official bootloader unlocking, so that's why we use this, okay? So just open CMD in here. Then what you need to do is essentially, uh, I'm going to tell some commands, okay? Let me just teach you about some commands. It's not that hard. So basically, the uh, the prefix for this is Python and MTK. Or Python 3 uh, if it doesn't work for you, like Python. Anyways, just try this. This is the prefix for it. So you, you have to type this before typing any command. So there's like three commands. Uh, the main commands. The write command, the erase command, and the read command. So write. So there's some partitions on your phone, right? So this but uh, this command just writes a partition so like if you there's a partition called boot right so if you want to write boot you do this this tells you which partition and this will tell you the file name you don't have to name the file as your partition you can name it anything like this it just needs to be the same file so that your phone doesn't get break the erase partition so the erase partition just wipes a partition from your phone so like python mtk e uh, user data this is a partition and it will just wipe all of your partitions from like the one you select simple right 
the read partition will extract or pull uh, the partition you want like mtkr i want pv meta which is a partition this will pull uh, tell it that this is the partition we're gonna pull and then the file name you can name it whatever you want bin or img or like whatever just you should probably do bin and img and you can name it whatever it doesn't need to be the, uh, the specific name of the partition so now once you know that there's just one more command that is and this will just unlock your bootloader right Th and then this command will lock your bootloader simple it's that simple okay be these both commands okay so obviously the first step is to unlock the bootloader for this to work so we just type this command right yeah i'll just paste it here yeah, this is it so once you type this command click enter and then follow what i'm gonna do correctly like so you have to power off your phone and then uh let me just power off my phone okay so it's done i powered up my phone just once you powered it off hold both of the volume buttons and then quickly just insert your usb okay now this this will unlock your bootloader basically just ho hold the usb uh, you hold the volume buttons until uh, this comes up once this is in uh, when this comes up device is in bra mode you can leave your uh, volume buttons so basically once you've once you've done this your bootloader is only unlocked okay it's simple but now what we need to do is we need to erase the user data partition so of course we will do we you also need to delete, uh, erase the metadata it's not important but you just sh should do it and now once you want what you want to do is uh, remove your uh, usb ones enter this command do the same thing Yeah, there you go you can leave it now and it's gonna just format your phone it's that easy it's done it's already done okay it's pretty damn easy if you face any driver issues you I mean you can hit me up on telegram i'll tell you my telegram uh, username later but i mean i think you should just join the group but yeah that's for sure uh, that's for later so once you've done this your bootload is already unlocked so to now if you straight up wanna go to the rom i'll tell you how to go to the rom straight up okay so once this is done yeah what you what you're gonna do is uh, plug in uh, not plug in it uh, type this command so this uh, this is not i know it's uh, i mean ik it's lk so just do python mtk r lk lk dot bin so obviously this will pull extract uh, file we need so what this will do is it this is gonna pull a partition which we need to access fastboot we have to patch it okay it's not any anything hard but just type this command do the same thing now also remove your usb before doing this okay it's done and there you have it you will get a partition i mean a file called lk.bin after this so now what you're gonna do is uh, go to web uh, go to this website called lk patcher the second one okay you have to click choose file then just go to mtk client okay click this lk bin click click upload lk yeah so that when that's done it will give you this prompt just save this file anywhere you want it will be called lk bash dot bin and now what you need to do it will be here okay just copy it uh, remove your phone from the usb type python dkw lk and just paste this like this okay so once that's done uh, enter the command do the same thing with your phone okay so now what you're gonna do in your phone is hold uh, volume down and power and your phone will say something like this hold on let me just pull it up yeah your phone will say this fast boot unlock verify okay this is completely fine and we have done something to make the fast boot work if you if we hadn't passed the lk and flash the bash lk this wouldn't have popped up and we could not access the fast boot that's why we've uh, 
flash this so that we can access fastboot because this is an unofficial method and you will have to do that okay it's simple so now we need platform tools for this let me just guide you through how we do that okay you go to google you search for platform tools you go to the website you scroll down you click windows scroll down again agree to this download it another thing you need to do is android uh, android usb driver C click this scroll down no not here it's here scroll down from here download it okay so once you're done with this uh, extract both of these files okay as you can see this is bad from tool so what you want to do in here is uh, open cmd like that you can check password devices won't i think i don't think it would be up hold on so it won't hold on. it's password devices you can check if your phone is detecting right now also it's not going to be detected detected right now so what what you're going to do for to fix that is it's simple you see this gsb driver you have to extract it as well just extract it with seven zip or whatever and now what you're going to do is right click on the windows icon click device manager you'll see this with the warning icon android other devices right click on it update driver browse my computer for uh, drivers let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer Sh you click this show all devices click next click tab disk now browse to where that is okay in, it's in my desktop okay uh, here it is so we have to click this android win usb dot inf click ok click uh, the android bootloader interface yeah there you go so yeah, that's done right now we type fastboot devices and it should show up as fastboot also you can also do this instead of that uh, i mean yeah you can just do install or whatever that's an easier way now you need the recovery okay here it is twrp.img so let me just tell you where this is hold on yeah this so credit goes to Treasure and Helen Fix for creating this TLORP together. This already does support the descript uh, decryption. So you can flash ROMs directly from your SD card. I mean your internal storage or SD card. So now to flash this, you just basically do fast boot flash recovery. And then you just stack and drop this. Click enter. Okay. Now it will flash the recovery. So to go to the recovery you type fast boot reboot recovery okay simple okay so your twrp will pop up now it's gonna be really simple okay so once you're in you can also you know check it if it detects an adb yeah whatever you wanna if you want to i guess it will obviously so the first thing you're gonna want to do is uh, let me just pull out my phone so I can record what I'm doing so that you won't get confused okay so what you're gonna want to do uh, here is click wipe click format data click uh, then just type yes in here then uh, go back to home screen you have you can either install it by your SD card if you have one or you can or if you don't have one you have to click advanced adb side load you just flash uh, like swipe this here you don't have to check any of these but you can splash you just uh, swipe it right here okay so once it's in here what you're gonna do on your pc is uh, type adb side load okay in platform tools don't close this then drag and drop the rom you want i mean i won't tell you the rom you want to flash it's your choice i'm gonna flash my own drum that i made so it's surfaced i'm gonna click enter now it's gonna flash okay it's gonna look like this on your phone something like this v uh, whichever you want to flash okay so it's gonna be complete now and don't panic if it like completes on 47 percent because that's where it's supposed to uh, complete so yeah let me show you the phone now in the phone it will obviously you know see as a com like fully completed and th in this it will be uh, 46 percent 47 percent anyways you're done so once this is done click the home screen click wipe again click for my data it's already gonna be yes click this tick option if you get this error there's no need to worry 
and now if you want to root your phone as well doing this it's simple you just need to flash my disk okay I have it here installed you just flash it or if you don't have an SD card you can you just have to do the same thing on your PC just replace the ROM with the magic zip so to get this magic zip let me show you what to do okay so you go here on your browser you search for magisk you don't even need zip you can just you know get this okay so once you're in here click magisk apk download it. and yeah that's all you need to flash you don't need to rename it or anything that's all you need to flash okay so yeah now let me just reboot my phone to system okay Let's see what happens. Well, congratulations, your ROM has been flashed and you can enjoy custom ROMs on your phone now. And uh, yeah, it is 8i. I mean, I have NASO, but yeah, works on 8i as well. As NASO, of course. Wouldn't have made this card otherwise. So it'll take a while to boot for the first time. It'll maybe take like 40 seconds. Let's just wait. Yeah, so it's put it now. Let me just remove the USB. You don't need to uh, keep that in there. Okay. So let me just show you how it is. It's cool. Everything would work. Let me just uh, do this. You can follow the setup, but I'm just doing it, you know. Just to show you how it is, it's cool. But yeah, there's me, and yeah, you can enjoy your arms now. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, join the Telegram group, and that's all.